finally time. The moment we've all been waiting for. So Ty say he saw Bigfoot. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, I had a buddy back in high school and he swears up and down that he's seen Bigfoot in the woods, so. Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, it's finally time. The moment we've all been waiting for. We are finally gonna open up these boxes and get all of these electronics, wiring, and power upgrades done to Junebug. I've got a buddy coming over to help me. I pulled some panels off the front of the boat and I took a look at the way the dealership that installed my live scope installed things and let's just say it was shoddy at best. I was less than satisfied with how they chose to uh, install the black box and route the wiring. Really it's trash. So we're gonna redo all that today and I'm extremely excited. I've been waiting for this for a minute. I've had these sitting here in the garage for a couple weeks now and I'm finally gonna get them put on my boat and we're gonna be back out there on the water, gripping and ripping and the content's about to be rolling hot and heavy from out there on the water. But today, we're gonna be here in the driveway working on JB. I'm gonna go ahead and crack off into the boxes first, show you guys the lithiums, the new charger, new live scope transducer. Got some parts here as well, some materials, some wiring, some connectors, some switches. And then once my help arrives, we're gonna bust off into the boat and we're gonna start getting all of this stuff put on and then hopefully we'll be out there on the water to test it out this evening. The first part is just to go ahead and crack off into these boxes, do a quick battery unboxing. But yeah, I'm so excited about this. Got the cover pulled off of JB here. This is my 2020 Skeeter ZX250. Like I said, man, I'm so happy. Got my homie here. What's up, Buckle Horn? He just chilling. All right, let's go ahead and bust off into these boxes and see what we decided to go with. All right, so first things first here, we got an unboxing before the unboxing. As you guys know, normally I'm doing my unboxings using this little guy right here. This is the Bottle Butcher from Berg Blades. You guys have seen me talk about it here on the channel a lot. My friend Matt over at Berg Blades, owner and operator, just sent me a new package. Really excited to see what we've got inside here. So we're gonna go ahead and slice off into this box and do an unboxing before the unboxing. Some of the best knives I've ever owned. Once again, that's the Bottle Butcher from Berg Blades. Got some pink on my finger. Let's take a look, what's this? A Berg Blades bottle cap. That's pretty cool. Number 328 out of 400. So that's cool. That's a little bottle butcher logo. Speaking of the bottle butcher, check this out. So I guess I've, this is like your little certificate of authenticity, so to speak. Number 328 out of 400. That's cool. Let's check this thing out, man. Dude, that is sweet. Damascus Bottle Butcher. I don't know if you guys can see the beautiful pattern in the metal there. Check that thing out. Wow. This is one of my favorite pieces of EDC gear. This is my third Bottle Butcher and by far the coolest looking one. He reached out and said he wanted to send me this. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate the gift, man. That's uh, very kind of you. You know, I'm a big proponent of the Bottle Butcher here on this channel. Dude's not a sponsor. He's just a good guy. He's a firefighter that makes knives. He makes really good knives. So I've always been a supporter of Berg Blades and Matt. This right here is something that I'm extremely excited about. Another one of Matt's knives that you guys may have seen me use here on the channel before is this guy right here, the Mini Slim. But the Mini Slim has a big brother. I'm gonna let you guys see it first. I haven't seen this yet. This right here is the Slim. And I've wanted one of these for a long time. Check out this, oh yeah, dude. Check out the handle on this. Forgot what he calls it, like Arctic Burst or something cool like that. I can't remember, I'll have to ask him. Check out the color on the handle. But man, that is a beautiful looking knife right there. But not only do they look good, they work good. They're extremely high quality, this is not, your you know run-of-the-mill cheap cutlery these are top tier knives super stoked to add to slim to my collection so we got the new damascus bottle butcher they all come with this cool kydex sheath that's pretty cool got the mini slim this right here is like my favorite knife to carry i love this little thing and now we got the slim the big brother to the little guy one more look at that handle absolutely beautiful Shout outs to Berg Blades. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it, dude. It's a good day already. Throw this back in here. Let's get into the rest of these boxes. All right, no surprises here. You guys already know what's inside, so I'm not gonna waste too much time. 
It's gonna get right off into here. Get these suckers pulled out. You guys will see what lithiums I went with. Super light. I can't believe how easy it is to pick this up. We're gonna lose some weight. Junebug is gonna lose some weight today. Just like me, hopefully. You guys have been uh, following me on Instagram. You know I'm on a little fitness journey trying to lose some weight myself. Today, we're gonna remove close to 200 pounds out of the back of this boat. Hopefully increase our top speed, make our cruise a little better. So as you guys can see, we went with Ionic Lithium. Why? Because they've got a good reputation. I know people personally that have had good experiences with the batteries and with the company. So that's what I went with. You know, they're one of the most popular, I think, lithium batteries. A lot of people have these. That's what I decided to go with. We got the four bank charger. We got the 12 volt, 125 amp hour deep cycle cranking battery and the three 12 volt, 50 amp hour deep cycle trolling motor batteries. So like I said, this is gonna save us a lot of weight. These things are extremely light. I'm actually surprised at how easy they are to move around. We got switches, we got wiring, we got other stuff that I don't know what to do with. That's the batteries. That's the new gear. Oh, can't forget about the new Garmin LVS 34 live scope transducer. This bad boy right here. Really excited for this. This is gonna clean up our picture on the live scope even more. Upgraded batteries, upgraded power, upgraded wiring. Now I gotta get all this stuff off the back of the boat so that we can actually work, but that's what I went with. That's what we're putting in the boat today. I'm extremely excited. I can't wait to get all this done and get back out there on the water with you guys. Stoked. Just trying to get everything as ready as I can for when uh, my friend gets here to help. Got the panels pulled off. I can't do much of this on my own, so really playing the waiting game. But we're about to dig off into this sucker and uh, get some repowering and some rewiring done. I'm so thankful to have somebody coming to help me because if I was left to my own devices, I can pretty much guarantee you I would jack this up in some way or another. Okay, help has arrived. Got my friend Ty here, he's gonna help with the boat. We're just gonna dig right up into this thing, get it started. I don't know how much of this I'll show you guys, but I know what you wanna see. You wanna see the, the finished product. We already know how it looks right now. Old school lead acid, AGM deep cycles. We're gonna tear all that out of there, rewire everything, get her powered up like she should be. I'm excited, man, I'm excited. I know you guys are excited to be back out there on the water. This is the last step before we finally get back to fishing. All right, guys, so this is Ty. He said he's cool with being on camera. <laughs> He came prepared, he got the tools, he got the gear to run all the wires. We're about to just jump right off into this. And you ready to get this knocked out, dude? Let's I appreciate you coming out to help Absolutely. us today, man. It means a lot. I appreciate the we're, offer. Me and Ty here, we're about to get to work. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can. Try not to hold this man up as we work through the process, but let's get after it. It's looking different back here in Junebug already. Looking a little light. Dynamite comes in small packages. Yes, it there does. You go. And the colors are right, too. <laughs> We've got the batteries to match Junebug now. <laughs> That's a heavy duty strap for a heavy duty battery. <laughs> So Ty said he saw Bigfoot. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, I had a buddy back in high school and he swears up and down that he's seen Bigfoot in the woods. So you guys go down below, let me know in the comments if you think Bigfoot is real or not. I don't know. I'm about 60, 40 on the old Bigfoot, but that's crazy. Where's my charge on lead? Are we getting there now, boys, as far as the batteries are concerned? Ty's about got this one in a shape, looking good. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna keep hammering. All right, dudes, mid install update. The batteries are done. Install looks great. Ty's killing it. Now he's up at the front. We're gonna fix this mess, absolute mess of a wiring job <laughs> that the installer did previously. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make things look a little bit cleaner. We got some interesting ideas that we're gonna implement and 
shout out to Ty for coming out here and helping me. This is definitely way over my head. The further we, along we get into this, the more I realize that I definitely uh, did the right thing by hiring some help. So yeah, stoked, man. I'll keep you guys updated. So just so you guys can see kind of what we're dealing with, this is uh, some of the mounting hardware that the uh, dealership that installed my live scope decided to use. I'm not gonna call anybody out. If you go far enough back here on the channel, you know who did this. And once we got to looking at that in there, we knew things had to be different. But look at this, look at this. I would have no clue what I'm doing up here, man. Once again, shout out to Ty for the help. He got the tools and the talent, and this is gonna be so much better once we're finished. Texas ingenuity here. We're using an old mesh style rod sleeve for some wire loom. It's the right color too, black and blue, just like June Book. cleaned up the wiring up in the front of June Bug. Now he's installing the LVS 34, the new transducer for the live scope. Shoot, we're ripping right along, boys. Uh, right now we're looking in down. Take this guy loose. Right there is forward. And then got perspective now. Perspective there. All right. Guys, we're ripping right along now. We got the new transducer mounted. All the wiring up in the front of the boat was an absolute bird's nest, rat's nest. It was horrible. Ty's got it looking crispy. And now we're just working on running from the front of the boat back towards the console. We're ripping right along. Everything's going smooth so far. A couple little hiccups, but nothing we can't handle. Thanks for letting me put you on camera, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being being kind of quiet. <laughs> no. I try to share my like entire journey with them. You know what I mean? Like I, I try not to hide anything and I'm super open and honest with my audience. So that's one of the reasons why they know they can trust me. Anything I can think of to that I'm experiencing as like a, you know, I'm relatively new to this. Like this is only my second bass boat and I've been fishing from the bank practically my whole life and only had been able to get out on the water for the past few years. So I've like encountered Dude, all the trials and tribulations of like a new angler that's fishing from the water for the first time and and I just uh, I bring them along for the ride for practically all of it man and it, there seem to be a lot of people that enjoy it so that's what we try to do keep it real around here and show the entire process but man it's always something with these boats and uh, man it's good to have somebody in your corner like Ty here that can help you get things back in order once you figure out the disarray like the rat's nest that was up here in the front but man it looks clean now and it's gonna look so good and everything's gonna work prime time to its optimum potential once we're done and yeah i'm just i'm super stoked man and once again thank you for coming out brother i sincerely Absolutely. appreciate it i appreciate the offer and heck yeah dude no we're gonna don't get her knocked out we're running wire now boys Ties running wire. I'm standing around <laughs> filming. You guys get the idea. Yeah, so the black box was up here. Like I said, just bouncing around, floating around. Ty's gonna remount it back here in this compartment so it's secure and it won't get water all over it and get broken bouncing around when I smash into a roller from a Kyle running that eight gauge. So one thing that this is gonna do is it's gonna clear up the image on not only the live scope, but every other graph on the boat. I hear once you do this, things really crisping up and I'm looking forward to seeing the graphs uh, after we get this whole job done. It's exciting time for me and Junebug. We've got the Texas style wire loom. 
So we're running new eight gauge wire all the way up to all the electronics in the front of the boat and to the console. So that's what Todd's handling right now. He's cutting the second piece. We'll feed it through and we'll have good power to every piece of electronics on the boat. It's almost time, boys. We're on the home stretch. Ty said we're over the hill. And uh, we're wrapping this thing up before you know it. Headed to the water. All right, dudes, like I said before, we're on the home stretch, but we're really on the home stretch now. We got the final run of wires routed through the back of the boat. He's hooking them up to the, the switch now, and that's like one of the last steps in this whole process other than testing everything out. We'll get the boat buttoned back up, but we're rounding out this project. It's been about, I don't know, four or five hours we've been out here working. Ty's been out here working. I've just been talking his ear off, bothering him with the camera, but you know the deal. We're gonna hopefully get this wrapped up soon, and get out of this heat get us something to drink and then we'll go test all this stuff out on the water probably in the next video because this one's probably getting a little bit long but i want to bring you guys along for the journey the back of the boat is looking awesome the wiring oh my gosh it's worlds ahead of where it was when we started absolute nightmare in the front of the boat and also insufficient gauge now we got overkill is underkill eight gauge wire all the way from the front to the back to every graph every unit is going to be crispy clean ripping but uh, I'm about to put the camera down. It's so hot out here. Um, we're gonna wrap this up and I'll uh, update you guys at the end and show you the full completed process. But once again, shout out to Ty for coming out here and helping me out. He's doing all the hard work and I'm just, uh, you know, shop hand. Hey, Swab, give me another brewski. Might jack around and get promoted from Swab to mate. Well, dudes, five and a half hours later, my man Ty is wrapping up. We're in the cleanup phase now. The, the job is done. We got new lithiums installed, new lithium charger installed, four brand new batteries, new eight gauge pipe down cicadas, new eight gauge wire ran to every graph on the boat. We've covered that. Man, once again, shout outs and thank you to my man Ty for coming and helping me with this job. I could not have done this without him. Uh, if he wants me to, I'll leave his contact information down below in the video description. So if you're in the area, in the Austin area, Texas Hill Country, if you're looking to have this kind of work done, hit up my man Ty. He's an absolute professional. He crushed this job and impressed me. And I even learned a thing or two along the way. And uh, yeah, dude, thanks for coming out and helping me, man. Uh, I, I really appreciate you, dude. You're freaking awesome. And I, I can't wait. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. So fun fact, Ty's dad is actually Kevin, who you've seen here on the channel before at the shop. The only person that I let touch the big motor back there on the back of the boat and now this here is the only person that i let touch the wiring in my boat so yeah stoked on this thank you guys for riding along in the journey with us but uh man stoked to have the boat finally dialed and you know what that means man you know what that means we're gonna be back out on the water in the very next video later dude june bug is officially ready to freaking rip with all the stuff that i told you about multiple times in this video i don't need to go over it again we're back in action, baby. We're back, ready to rip, be back on the water. Got me and the deer homies here. They're freaking out a little bit, but they don't like the camera. Oh, man, feels good to get that done. Can't wait to try this stuff out. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I'm trying to cut down on video length, keep them closer to 20 minutes as opposed to 30 minutes, shorten the videos a little bit, and hopefully, now that the boat is in order, get back to daily or every other day uploads at minimum. As far as the boat goes, you guys have pretty much seen all the work we've done. There's nothing much to show you. There's batteries, there's wiring, but it's all hidden behind compartments. So the only thing left to do now is get out there on the water and put all this stuff to the test. You guys will see that in the very next video. So make sure you're subscribed 
to the channel so that you don't miss it. Shout outs to all the awesome sponsors that work with us here on the channel that make all of this possible. Six Sense, Waterland, Water Nutrition, Amped Marine, Pro Glide, and all of you guys, man. Special thank you and shout outs to the Heater Army. As always, you guys know the deal. Check out SixSenseFishing.com and use my code JR10 if you want to support the channel. Pick up a heater hat. We got the merch linked down below in the video description. If you want to go above and beyond, you can join the Heater Army, become a part of something special, get access to special perks and emojis here on YouTube, as well as some other exciting stuff that I have coming on the way. But that's about all I got for you today, man. That about does it. That about wraps are on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I will see you on the next one.